Good day, good people. Bliss Waste Ice Beats here. And what are we doing? Adding a clasp. And what are we adding it to? Nylon string this time. So what you want to do is grab a few tools, your wire protector, your jump ring. You want to get your clasp. And this time we're going to use the barrel with a ring around it. Hence, we're using a jump ring. So you want to apply the jump ring onto your clasp and go ahead and swing it all around there and it's cool because this tool i never learned how to use it i just use it my way so if this works for you um however if you have an easier way please uh definitely comment and let me know <laughs> but it works once you get it around there you go ahead and put the jump ring on the other end as well so let's go ahead and speed this up so once you get that on there you know you are ready to go and then you're going to grab your wire protector with the wire protector, um, you'll get your class and we're going to place the wire protector onto the bead spacers here. So you get your big eye curved needle, stick your nylon through your big eye and you're ready to go. We're going to toss the, see that bead spacer right on there first, swing it on down and then you'll prepare your wire protector. You're going to send the needle through one end, make sure that your string has gone all the way through, and then we're going to send the needle through the other end, which makes more of like a U hook, right? And then you're going to grab your clasp and place it right through your jump ring, and you're gonna let it go ahead and hang on there. Pull slowly, and carefully your nylon string through there and notice it's going to lie right on your wire protector and you're all squared away there we're going to send the needle again through the bead spacer and give it a nice tug and being that this is the first end of the waist bead it really doesn't matter where you place the class because it you're going to measure it on the other end which you guys look out for a part two of this video where we place the clasp on the other end of the waist bead. And that's one of the most important parts because if it's too loose, your beads are not nice and neat and placed together and it can ruin your entire strap. So you're gonna place as many knots in there as possible and you're gonna kind of hide that knot inside of the bead spacer. You're going to then sizzle off or do a nice cut if you like and release the remainder thread on the shorter end. Grab your bead zap. So we're all set on one end. Comment and subscribe and look out for part two where we apply the class to the second end of this waist bead.